Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in for another My Projector Lamps video. Today, I'm going to show you how to change your filter and we'll do some maintenance to prolong the life of both the lamp and the projector itself. Oh, sorry, catchy tune. Did you know your projector has a filter? It's true, all projectors have filters, my projector and your projector. In this projector right here, uh, a common place would be to check near the vent, that's where the air is circulating through the projector and where the dust will start to collect. In this case, you just slide it up and there's a handle that you'll pull out and easy. There were no screws involved, it's just a matter of sliding it out. Um, of course, not all projectors will be that easy. This is a movie after all. Uh, sometimes they'll be found on the bottom of the projector behind a panel. Uh, also simultaneously uh, near the lamp, either in front or behind, behind this panel where the lamp would be, there might be a filter as well. The most common question we get on a daily basis is do I need to purchase a new filter when I replace the lamp? The quick answer is no, you don't. Something that the manufacturers of projectors don't want you knowing is that these guys can be used and reused time and time again. It's simply a matter of cleaning the dust and using good maintenance. Sure, in an ideal audiovisual world, once a month is what we're looking for, but we live busy lives, so one to two times a year is all you need. Generally, there are gonna be two materials that your filter is comprised of. One is more paper-like, and the other is more sponge-like in texture. If your filter is more paper-like, you can tap it on the surface of a table. If that doesn't work, and you have some compressed air around the office or home, spray that in the filter to remove any of the dust. A tip I have is do this process over a garbage bin and avoid the cleanup. If your filter in your projector is sponge-like, you can actually wash it out using a mild detergent in water. Splish, splash, I was taking a bath. Long about a Saturday night. Make sure your filter is completely dry before ever putting it back into your projector. It slides right back into place very easily. And make sure to close the hatch before you turn your projector back on. As you can see, it's not rocket science. Just a matter of removing dust from your filter. No need to spend your hard earned money to buy a new product. If you have any questions about this process, give our super friendly customer service a call. We'll give you tips to optimize your filter's performance and we'll do it with a smile.